Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Takesha and today is a very exciting day because I got my boxy lux box. This is way bigger than the normal boxy charm box and I'm so excited because I know there's a lot of good stuff in there. So for you guys who don't know anything about BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is a subscription box where they send you about five or six full-size makeup items for $21 a month. And seriously, it is like the best deal because you pay $21 for hundreds of dollars worth of products. You get things like Smashbox, Cover FX, House of Lashes, like seriously, I've gotten so many lashes and they are just so bomb. So this box is bigger than my normal BoxyCharm box, way bigger. And because I've been a BoxyCharm member for so long now, I've been given the chance to upgrade and I'm so excited. Guys, seriously, if you don't have a BoxyCharm subscription, get one. So I'm going to be unboxing it with you guys and I've kind of seen a other videos so I kind of know what I'm going to get. But I wanted to show you guys. So, here is what you see. This is Hello Charmers. So, this is what you first see. And, oh, this, is, this just shows all the products that are in here. So, when you first open it, ooh, you see a tart palette so let's look at this so my first item here is this Park Ave Princess chisel palette from Tarte this Amazonian clay infused bronzer bar comes with six bronzing and highlighting powders so it's like a contour kit kind of this is the packaging oh it's so pretty can you guys see so it's very nice looking very sleek it comes with a big mirror so that's a really great plus looking at this palette right now I don't know if this will be right for my skin tone only because like the darkest shade isn't that dark so I'm gonna swatch it on my arm like this this is the darkest shade, which is Crown. Um, this is Angle. This is Princess Cut. Oh my gosh, you can barely see that. This is Carrot. It has a shimmer to it, so here is Enhance, Lord have mercy, and here is Halo. These are them swatched on my hands. You can barely see some of them because they're like my skin tone. So if you're around my skin tone or darker than me, I don't think this palette will work out too well for you just because a lot of the colors were like basically like my skin tone and lighter so you can not really contour with them but if you're lighter than me then this can work for you this retails for $45 so my next product is this Laura Geller baked blush and brighten it's a very very pretty blush and it has some shimmer in it and here is it swatched it's very pretty and it's crazy because I don't wear blush but you know what? I think I'll give this one a try. And because it has shimmer in it, you can get away with not wearing a highlighter because it already will like make you glow. This retails for $28. So the next thing I have in this box is this Brush Trio. And this is the Alamar Cosmetics Ojitos Brush Set. And these are definitely eyeshadow brushes. And you know what? I love brushes. I can never get enough brushes. I feel like every box they've sent me, I've gotten some type of a brush and I'm not mad at it. This set retails for $18. So the next thing that I have in this box is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. This palette comes with a mirror and 12 shades. To me, this palette is kind of looking like it might be ashy for my skin tone. And these are all the shades. 
This palette retails for $35. So the next thing in my box is this cute little headband. This is the Vintage Cosmetic Company Dolly Bow Makeup Headband. Uh, I've never I've never owned one of these. I think these are like for it to like push your hair back from your face when you're doing your makeup or like when you're washing your face or putting on a face mask. And this retails for $4.99. So the next thing in my box is another brush. You can tell this is a face brush because it's so much bigger than the other ones. This is the Luxie 732 Airbrush Foundation Brush. This is a very beautiful looking brush. This is a foundation brush, but I feel like you can use it for like contour or blush or a bronzer too. This brush retails for $38 for this brush. This brush. So the next thing in my box is this right here. This is Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I don't know how to pronounce the brand name. Is it Rico? Or is it R plus Co? I don't use dry shampoo. Um, so I, I guess I'll give it a shot. How does it smell? It actually smells perfumey. <laughs> this retails for $17. So the next thing I have in this box is the Smashbox Limited Edition Photo Finish Primer Water. So it's a 3-in-1 primer, it hydrates, preps, and refreshes your skin. I've never used primer water, so this is pretty cool. But I've also never saw the purpose. I hope this doesn't make me like dewy because I'm already oily and I hate a dewy face. So this primer water retails for $32. Next up is this liquid lipstick. Ooh, Violet Voss Liquid Lipstick in the color Muse. And this is a color that I'll probably definitely be needing a lip liner with. I love matte lipsticks, especially liquid lipsticks. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this, but I'll make sure to wear a liner with it because you know how that goes. This retails for $12. So the next thing in my box is the Sol de Janeiro Ipamina Sunset Glow Oil. This is, this is like a shimmery like face and body oil that you can put like under your makeup to make it more luminous. Or like put it all over your body like if you have like a swimsuit on and you want to like be glistening in the sun and shit it smells so good oh my gosh so i'm putting it all over my arm mm. it's looking a little ashy for me i'm not sure if you guys can really see it but this definitely has like a little white cast to it you can see it on this arm like it's kind of making me look ashy so again this is a product that if you're my skin tone or darker, I don't think this will work for you in that regard. Like if you're gonna put it all over your body for a body oil. Dang, I kinda wish I didn't open it now. I could have regifted this. You know what, it smelled good in the bottle, but I don't think I like the smell now that it's on my skin. This product retails for $35. So the last thing in my box is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. This is also an organic product. Oh yes, I love organic everything. So this moisturizer has a pump at the top, so when you push it down, the moisturizer should come up through that tiny hole at the top of the middle of the pump. And if you don't want to use the pump, you could also just twist the top off. Mmm, it smells like lemon and orange. I think I might want to start to incorporate this into my skincare routine because hopefully this can do something for like my pores and my acne scars. Who knows? Guys, this is the most expensive thing in the box. It retails for $70. That's a lot for a moisturizer. Oh my gosh, this must work miracles. It better work miracles for $70. God damn. So that was the last thing in my Boxy Charm box. Oop, and I almost forgot. They actually included this like free gift. And it's really cute. It's a black tote bag with the writings. Totes a charmer. So that was just a cute little thing that they added into the bag. So here's just a short summary of all the products that were in the box. Minus the tote bag. Oh my gosh. So guys, all the products in this box 
costs a total of $334.99. Compared to what I paid for, oh my gosh, I definitely got my money's worth, oh my gosh. So that is all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and more videos like these. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.